Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today you're catching me at the end of the day. So this is a reverse rewind of my day. So this is the end of the day. The guys have just gone home and I'm at the garden house, which is where I've ended up um, second part of the day. Uh, we were in traffic, it's crazy. Two and a half hours worth of traffic. So today did not go as planned, but we made some good progress as far as what we need to do. A couple of things I needed to do here, preparation for the floor. We came and we've done it. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is the end of the day. So it's the reverse of today's uh, working day. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what I've done here today. So one of the important things I needed to get done to finish off in here is was to skim here, which I've done. You might notice this plaster is a different color than usual. This is one coat plaster. It's the same company that we use the stuff, Thistle. Uh, because it's a small area, I just picked up a very small bag, sort of like a half size bag. And I only needed, I only used half of the bag anyway, so I didn't need much plaster at all. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I've done here. So I've done this, skimmed it. Uh, I've got a bit of tile to go on top of here. So once that's dry, I can just uh, glue that bit of tile down. And then, and then now he's going to paint this. Uh, but he's going to do the last painting all at one go. So we're going to be painting that. Um, obviously, you'll paint the skirting boards once they're in. And we'll paint the, cup, the cupboard and as well, and the door as well. Um, so another thing as well, Namdi done here, he's done a little bit of filling that we had to do here on the uh, on the floor here. Uh, so we've done that, so we've perfectly made that little, those two little corners smooth. But this is the self level that we done here the other day, you guys remember, we done a very small, fine coat of it. It's got to see, I mean, you can't tell, but it's just how I wanted it. Nice and smooth uh, and it's level. Uh, there's nothing protruding through anywhere, so that's done. Um, also, guys, this is the flooring, or a little sample of the flooring that we're going to be using. Flooring is on order, I'm waiting to find out. I still haven't got confirmation, but I'm hoping it comes by tomorrow. Uh, if it does come tomorrow at some time, then I'll probably be installing it on Saturday. Um, but this is the flooring, you can see how thin it is. Basically, it's a glued system, so it will be glued to the floor with adhesives. It's a, this is a parquet style. I think it's a herringbone, if I'm right, someone correct me. So the idea is that I've got to lay these in individual pieces. So it's a bit of a tedious job, time consuming, but it's gonna be laid sort of like this. And then there'll be sort of like another one sort of glued here, like that. And then there'll be sort of another one glued like that. Many of you will be, I'm sure, familiar with this pattern of flooring. So that's basically how it's gonna be done. So obviously I've got to do the whole room with it. Um, so yeah, I've got 16 square meters, 16, almost 17 square meters on order. And I think everything here is gonna come up to about 15 from my calculations. Yeah, so it's all ready to go. So this is the space. So hopefully Saturday, this is all done. I can put the skirting boards on and now he can come and do his thing and finish off the last few bits of painting in here. And then, yeah, once that floor is done, then we can do this wall here. And then we're pretty much done inside here. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, guys, so as I said, this is a reversal of the day. So now we're gonna head off to the beginning of my day, which started, well, I was on site at eight o'clock. I had an early, early, early delivery at eight. So I had to be in at eight, I had to leave the house at 6.30. So yeah, let's uh, jump into that. Hi guys, so I'm just catching back up again. So I am starting my day off here at the new project, the garden house you guys might have seen. Uh, the first video I put out, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, of the foundation work that we did, which was actually a video that was over four days work, about four days work put down into one video. Um, so today I'm doing the concrete pour. Um, I'm starting it off on my own. I'm down here early. I'm in North London, I'm coming from South London, so a bit of a trek, a bit of a journey, but um, yeah, I'm here, I got here bang on eight o'clock, and uh, we had a concrete booked for eight o'clock as well, so we are actually the first stop of the day. Um, so we're using a pump today on this one, I'll be using, as you can see, I'm using a pump. It's just me and the, and, the, and the driver, basically. So he's down the front of the house, and he's doing all the controls. He's, he's sending me uh, the pumps in batches of about, half a cubic meter and then we reposition and then we check our levels of how much we need and we keep moving so i did tell them i needed about 
uh, cubic meters as my estimate uh, so let's see how close I get to what I estimated um, I've already paid for that um, basically when you book these book these uh, services or well, but this particular company anyway you pay for the amount that you estimate and if you're over at the end of the job they will invoice you for the balance which you'll have to pay or if you're under you can get a refund for the extra that you've paid for so yeah so that's basically it so this is a this is a self-leveling uh concrete so the stones are a bit smaller than you might have seen on some of the more recent uh concrete pours that we did we have used this company before i think for about two garden houses so you might have seen us doing the self-leveling concrete on other jobs as well and um yeah this is basically me just uh, sort of basically controlling the concrete spreading it out what i didn't show you guys in the last video was installing the uh, leveling pegs which you guys can check out one of my other videos uh, if you search for one of our videos on uh, a uh, pouring the concrete foundation i essentially uh nailed or drive in some wooden pegs or sometimes steel pegs into the ground at the heights of the level of where i want the concrete to be and i use a long level and i level all these points all the way around the house and make sure that i've got all the pegs the same level and that's the guide that i'll be using when i am pouring the concrete so i just make sure that the concrete is exactly to the top of the pegs that i am pouring so these pegs stay in the ground they're just either small very small pieces of timber or steel and they basically just become a part of the footing so that's what i've got you you, you can see in some parts of of the video here uh, especially in the bottom left corner you can see one of the pegs here and i use that as my guide so as long as i get the concrete all the way around pretty much level to that uh, then i will have a nice level base for our block work
so guys i'm pretty much done now concrete is finished pouring the guys just cleaning out the line so what's coming out now is basically just whatever was in the line he's just he's just pushing it all out so you can clean the lines out also he's going to clean the lines out with a foam or sponge ball which you guys will see right about now and what it does is the high pressure of air blast this uh, ball down the line and just sort of wipes the pipes clean as it's passing through and that's the sort of final final clean so you've got to make sure you're well out of the way for that because it can come out with a lot of force um so yeah that's it pretty much so now i'm just sort of doing a, a rough level with by hand uh, i'm knocking the pegs i had to move uh some from the right hand side to the left it was a bit it was a bit high on the right and a bit low on the left and i just do a sort of preliminary sort of spread out then i'll pass the rake on it to also help to sort of level it out and then i'm going to use the rake as my tamper and i just i'm going to be tapping each of those stakes and making sure that i've got my level where i need to be um, once i've done that it's job done Hi guys, I am done. That took a little bit longer than I expected. It's half past nine. Um, what time did we start pouring this? Probably started pouring at about 8.30. Got here about eight o'clock. The guy was here, bang on. It was about, eight, about 10 to eight. Uh, by the time he set up and everything, we were ready to go, it was probably about half eight. So it took about an hour. Um, <clears throat> so I'm quite happy with it now. Um, I had to do a lot more work than I expected. Uh, this this, this uh, company that we use this time is not like the ones we've used in, on, on the past because they don't actually come down this area. So when I'm sort of North London, I use one particular company. When I'm sort of South London, I use another company. This company, sort of their pump, their truck is uh, a pump built in and it, it mixes in a big batch and then it pumps and it mixes a batch and it pumps. Whereas the other one that we normally see us use, it, it mixes as it's coming out of the chute into the hopper so it is a bit more accurate because you haven't got to sort of guess how much you need to mix um, so I ended up pretty much I had to take a little bit off but it's pretty much spot on with my pegs um, it just means I had to sort of do a little bit more leveling obviously I'm on my own I'm moving the pipe around and all that stuff and it's moving really really quick so some levels are a little bit high some are a little bit low oh, I managed to get it where I want it now so yeah i'm really happy with it so let's have a look at it all right so basically this is it this is our concrete this is a self-leveling concrete as well um so it is really nice and easy when you're tamping it particularly um so i've just tamped it down with a rake i've hit all my spikes which are leveled all that so i'm pretty confident now i'm level which makes it a lot easier when you start laying your block work so we've gone here so we've got as you can see there the outline of the main house which is 5.7 approximately by uh 4.5 4.5 deep and then we've got this extra shed area which is going to be single skin uh, which is going to be three meters long by two meters wide uh, there so yeah now you can see the footprint sort of of the of the house now and you get an idea of what it's going to look like yeah so basically we're going to have uh on this part of the build the essentially shed there's going to be uh, French doors so you can put large equipment in there like you know whatever big things you want to pack away so there'll be some French doors there to get into that and then on this side here we'll have a three meter or so bifold door I think we've got something like about 3.7 meters here to play with so we're probably gonna push the door right down to the end and then we'll leave about 600 mil or so on that side something like that three meter bifolds yeah um, we're gonna be putting a bathroom in here as well 
so that's got to be done so yeah lots to look forward to yeah so we'll be back here soon to lay block work up to dpc and then once we do that then we're going to clear out the inside again take a little bit more down and then we are going to do our floor slab so this time we're going to be doing the whole floor slab as one and then we're going to start bringing materials in yeah so that's it guys i'm shooting off got to meet the guys we are off to the garden house so um, I'm just gonna go and pick them up and then we're gonna fly down there and try and get some bits done We've got the floor coming. I'm hoping the floor comes by the weekend If it does then you might see a uh, video maybe on Saturday I can start laying the floor in the garden house. Yeah, so that's it guys from me. I'll see you soon. Take care